Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Yanni J, and I'm here with a testimony Tuesday. We're gonna be, I'm gonna be giving you guys a testimony of my two beautiful kids that I'm just so grateful and like wow about. Like I just still can't believe it that I am a mother of two kids and under literally a year. So if you don't know, yes, um, I've had two kids and they have the same birthday. Um, my first child, oh, oh, let's go back. I've been wanting kids for a very long time. It was just always a burning desire. I always wanted to be a mom for maybe about 11, 12 years. And I, for years, I would like cry and talk to talk to God about it. And I just felt like I never, you know, never got anywhere with it. And people will constantly, through the years, ask me like, when are you guys having kids? When are you guys having kids? And I was like, you know, I don't know, whenever, whenever, you know, I don't know, I don't know. And it just got to the point where it got so annoying that I literally would just, I just came up with this saying, well, when people would ask me, I would just say, when God sees fit, when God sees fit. And I would just leave it as that. And that way, you know, they wouldn't lead on with another question, you know. So I would um, go home and cry in bed to myself. I don't, my husband even know. I would just be crying and crying. I would, um... I would make doctor's appointments, was trying to see maybe if something was wrong with me. And it was just like a really, it was like a really hard time for me. Like, it was just something like, I was like, this desire just wouldn't go away. I was like, oh my God. Like, and I would even put my desire on when I would get other people's kids. Like, I would get my nieces and nephews and just nurture them and just love on them. And I would, then would never wanted to take them home. And it just was just like a really burning desire to where it was just like I felt like God didn't think I was gonna be good. I wasn't good enough to be a mom, you know. I thought maybe that wasn't in His plans for me. I thought maybe I wasn't a good person. I just started having a lot of like self doubt and start feeling all type of different type of ways about myself. But I always thought I was a good person. I said, well, God knows me best, and maybe that's not in the cards for me, you know. So I was like, if it doesn't happen by a certain age, you know, we're gonna adopt. You know, we're gonna adopt and even though you know I would love to have my own kids I could still give you know a child or two you know a good home you know so as the years went by still nothing 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 and again I was in there just crying and crying and people still asking me when are you guys having kids when are you guys having kids they would say rude things and it was just I wouldn't let they would they didn't know that it hurt me or it didn't really hurt me it just but brought back to the fact that, like, oh my gosh, like, you know, I, you, you see people who have kids who aren't married, who, you know, aren't, aren't in good relationships, or not, um, are being abused, or, you know, are being raped, and are, you know, having kids, like, hey, like, well, I'm sitting here trying to, you know, live my life right, trying to do everything to according to God's will, and, you know, why, why, why aren't you giving me this, why can't, you know, when is my time, like, where are my kids, you know, are you not going to give me this? So I had got a prophetic word, I think back in 2015, that um, this person saw me crying in my bed, and I never shared that with anyone. No one, not even my husband and I, I would just go, I would come home from work, 12 hour shift work, and take a shower, get in the car in my bed, and just, you know, just weep, you know, because it was just, it was just really tough. And um, I was like, oh my God, I've never shared that with anyone. So I just knew that was nobody but the Lord. I'm like, oh my God, like, how does this person know this? Like, how does she know this? So it just really just put a burning fire in me. I was just like, oh my God, I just know God is going give to this, give this to me. I just can't wait. I can't wait. And even before I got that word, I would constantly speak of the children as if I already had them. I was constantly, you know, saying their names and what, you know, what we do, how, we, you know, whether we go to school, you know, their names. And I would say if I had a daughter, I would name my um um, Jovenicia, <laughs> and did things of that sort, you know, I was just like, always, always spoke of them as if they were already here, not knowing, you know, when it would ever happen, right, so after I got that word, just put a burning fire in me, I just knew it was coming, so I, you know, I constantly started, you know, seeking God first, you know, even more, you know, I just kept just, you know, talking to God, talking to him, talking to him, and just, you know, you know, laying it all out there, and then, like, I think, and I had him in um, 2017, so that um, I got pregnant, I believe, like in March, March, and um, before I got pregnant, I would uh, read my daily devotion, and when this person told when the per um, when this person told me that I was going to conceive, 
Um, and it was I was like, okay, I'm gonna name her. Um, I kept looking for names, and I so happened we were watching the show, and I like the name Charity. No, I like the name Charity. Yes, I like the name Charity. And I said, oh, I'm gonna name her Charity. And um, I was at work one day, and I was reading my word, and I got this word um, talking about um, Charity. You know, all things love. You know, faith, hope, but most important is love. And I was like, oh, okay, you know, oh, this is what I'm going to name her. Thank you, Lord. This is a sign. So then um, a couple hours, uh, uh, the next day, um, this guy, he, passed, he was passing out devotions at my job. And it was a different, it was a different scripture, but it was still talking about love, talking to him, talking about how charity is love. And I was like, oh, my God, Lord, this is it. Like, you already told this person I'm going to have a child. Oh, my God, this is it. Like, am I pregnant now? Oh, my God. So I was, like, super, duper excited. Then another time I went and I was parking my car going to work. And this person on the back of their tag, um, I had like a little tag thing, and it says that um, even a smile is cherry. I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, like, oh my gosh, I'm, you know, I must be pregnant, I must be pregnant. So in my mind, I was like, I'm pregnant. I just know it. I just know I am. So I didn't. So at that time, I didn't take a test. Um, I wasn't feeling good. Um, I felt like I was sick, so I went home early from work, and I was just, you know, laying there, and then I didn't go to work the next day. And um, my husband had posted something on social media, so I was going on there, you know, to um, to like it and support it. But somebody said, no, you're going to read your word first. Read your word. So I was like, okay, let me read my word. Somebody told me to read my word. So I went and I read my word, and it was a devotion again, talking about charity, talking about love. I was like, oh, my God, I have to be pregnant. I just, I just, I think, I think that I am. I think that I am. I know that I am. So a couple of days went by, and I told, um, I went, and I didn't share this with my husband yet. So I went and I purchased a test, and um, I went to Dollar Tree, and I purchased the test because I came home early again, and I took it, and it said yes. I was like, holy crap. Now, this has been years. Of, I probably took maybe 100 pregnancy tests throughout the 19 years. I've taken like, so many pregnancy tests, and they always said no, 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 no. So I was like, when I took this, and I seen two lines, I was ecstatic. Like, I like was so Flipping happy. Hold on. Oh, oh. good girl. You alright? Sorry guys, I am a stay-at-home mom and I try to record this video without them interrupting, but he's sleeping, so I'm just gonna gotta roll with the punches, right? So I found out that I was and I was like super duper excited, like I was ecstatic. So I told him, and he was like, is that, is that a good one? Because <laughs> it came from Dollar Tree. And um, I said, yeah. I said, I, I said, I didn't even need this test. I just know, I know I am. And I told, began to tell him, you know, all the signs that the Lord was giving me. And he was like, wow, he, you know, he couldn't believe it. So fast forward through my whole pregnancy, a friend gave me like a little pamphlet of different scriptures to read. So I was reading those every single day. Reading those scriptures, reading over, praying, praying over my child, and I, at the time I kept thinking that I was pregnant with Charity, so I kept praying and praying over her, praying over the child, and reading scriptures, and just always saying, "Healthy baby, healthy mommy, healthy pregnancy, painless, quick delivery." Every single day, numerous times a day. So fast forward through the pregnancy, um, we went to go get an ultrasound for my 40 weeks, and um, so they went ahead and just wanted to induce me. And I was excited because I was like, oh my God, I get to get my baby. And, um, bless your baby. I was excited. So, not, but it was because the weather was really bad. So they went ahead and induced me because I lived too far from the hospital. And I didn't know what inducing was at the time. Don't get induced. If you female. Know. So, I went ahead and, um, got induced. And my surgery was so far back, it took forever for them to, um, get me to open up. And that was the only pain that I've had was when they was trying to, they was going inside me, trying to put that Cervidel and stuff in. It was horrible. So fast forward 42 hours later, they were op it was open, and I pushed them out maybe with one or two pushes, no pain. And I did get epidural, but they say you still can feel, you know, have pain. You know, you can still feel the pressure and things, but I didn't feel anything. And I was just so thankful. I was like, I was so freaking thankful. And uh, he was healthy. I was healthy. Um, he was a happy baby, and I was just, oh, just so excited. So, but when I did find out that he was a boy, like, I was like, what? Oh, my God, I thought I was going to be a girl. I cried and cried and cried, cried and cried and cried. But then when I looked at his ultrasound, he was waving, waving to us. You know, I stopped crying, and I was just grateful. 
you know, because, you know, God did not have to do it. So I was so happy I had this little baby and I couldn't believe that I was taking, taking, like he was mine. He belonged to us. And I was just so ecstatic. So then fast forward, um, he was like two months, two or three months, and I wasn't feeling good again. And um, I was like, oh, I must be getting the flu or something. But then I started like, smell started bothering me. So I started getting really nauseous. And uh, I said, told my husband, go get me a pregnancy test from Dollar Tree. Let me rule this out real quick because I just know that's impossible. Because it took me forever, you know, to have JJ. I went to go take a pregnancy test. And it said, yes. I cried. I was just like, I was in shock. And this is, here I am, a person who's been crying for years and years and years. And watching everyone else, you know, have their families and their beautiful children. And here I am pregnant again. And my baby is only two, three months. Like, what in the world? And I didn't think I would, you know, get pregnant or anything like that again. Because it took forever. And fast forward, you know, I cried and cried and cried. And I was changing JJ one day. And I was looking for a onesie that was like a dinosaur. But I ended up pulling one that said, be happy. So to me, that was the Lord saying, Yarny, be happy. So fast forward, God blessed me with a second child. And I found out it was a girl. I was like, oh my God, God's giving me my heart's desires. So I found out a woman, I found out a girl. I knew her name would be Charity. And I was just so blessed. I was just, I was over, I was ecstatic. I just couldn't believe it. Like, I still can't believe it. I still look at them to this day and it's like, wow. Like, wow. Like, that's like really the only words I can say. Like, God will definitely give you a wow. So, just want to tell you, like, Whatever it is that you're desiring for, whatever there it is that you've been yearning and for weeping or just been or don't even see it coming to pass yet, don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. Oh my God, I can tell you that. Do not lose hope. Do not lose faith because faith without works is dead. And as long as you keep God first, like He will make make the path straight for you. And I've, I've learned that, and I give God all my desires, and I leave it there. And you have to believe it in your heart. But I spoke of these children. I kept speaking of them, you know, speaking of them, and here they are. And then they were born on the same day. They had the same birthday, and I always kept saying I wanted twins. And I have Irish twins. They had the same birthday. That is unbelievable. That is nobody but God. And I'm just, like, so, so freaking, I'm grateful. That's, I have such a grateful heart. Like, my heart is just so full. I'm just so grateful that God would like do this to me and it's all going back to his word his word cannot lie like you ask you knock you shall receive Matthew 7 and 7 look it up like oh my gosh it was just and then just even me and my husband coming together in agreement you know right there it's like you know we came together and God seen that he's honoring that and I'm just so grateful so guys please whatever it is that you're asking God for don't lose hope it will come to pass like look at me you know, I'm no different than you are, you know, so just talk to God, get leave it, leave it there, and he will do it, so, and this is Charity right here, say hey mama, she's a little fussy, and she's wearing her brother's um, onesie, I want her to be cool, but anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and um, end this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and let's end with a prayer really quick, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of today, we thank you for what you are to us, and how what you represent, we thank you for Everything that we have at the present, Lord, Lord God, we thank you for the present time as of right now. We, Lord God, I ask you that this person that's watching this video that you may move on their behalf, Lord God. Don't let them lose hope, Lord God. Put a desire so burning in them that they can't stop thinking about it. Touch them, Lord God, in a mighty way, move in their life. Lord God, I ask that they keep you first. As long as they keep you first, I know you will do whatever it is they're desiring. We thank you and we give you all the praise. And we'll make sure we tell our testimony of what you have done for us. In Jesus' name, Lord God, we know you hear our prayers, and we thank you for hearing our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. All right, guys, so until next time, peace and love. Say bye-bye. Say see you next time. I'll see you next time. <laughs>